Welcome back, guys. Uh, today, I thought I'd uh, uh, take a look at a, a distribution that I downloaded yesterday. And I'll give you a little background. What happened was, as I mentioned, I was going to do the uh, vinyl conversion, my vinyl records. And I had downloaded and installed the Ubuntu Studio distribution. Now I tried to uh, set up the studio uh, application or distribution the same way I normally do and I wanted to install a few games so I tried installing Hearthstone which is a battle net game and <clears throat> it would not play right. I ended up with a black screen and um, and that has to do with the fact that I'm running onboard graphics on this computer. It's got an uh, Intel onboard graphics, <clears throat> not very high powered onboard graphics and audio. So it wouldn't run properly. <clears throat> now that's using the open source driver. Intel provides graphics drivers for their uh, motherboards that use the Intel chip. So the Intel chip on this particular motherboard has the built-in graphics and Intel provides some drivers that better utilize the available graphics processing. So I went to the website that I'm aware of. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> allergies. Uh, I went to the website that I'm aware of that provides access to the Intel graphics drivers. And, and I think I mentioned in the past that they had drivers only for the 14.10 Ubuntu distributions. Now since the uh, Ubuntu Studio was based on 1404, I could not get the graphics card of the graphics drivers to load. So I went to the website and this is the website 01.org. If you go there, if you if I would recommend that if you have a motherboard that and you're utilizing an Intel chip and it has onboard graphics, either the HD 4000, the HD 4600, if you have anything like that, uh, with an Intel chip and uh, Intel onboard graphics, I suggest going to this site. Because if you're able to find the graphics drivers for your, C for your CPU, your system will run a lot smoother. And you'll be able to run games that you don't ordinarily, you're not ordinarily able to run. So let's take a look at what's available. Now, if you go down to the older versions, you will see that <coughs> the 14.10 Ubuntu has the graphics installer 1.10. Now it's also available for other flavors of Linux. If you go beyond that, you won't find anything for 1404. Intel pulled the installers and they no longer support them. Matter of fact, they don't recommend that you try to install it. So the earliest, the oldest uh, installer available is for the 1410. Now, 1410, if you go online to try to download a 1410 distro, uh, then the Ubuntu 1410 version, 
uh, you're going to have a difficult time finding it. It is available, but you'll have a little bit of a difficult time finding it, and it's not available in all of the various Linux or Ubuntu flavors. However, now they have come out with the 1504. Intel Graphics Installer for Linux 1.2.0. Now, this is the 1504 64-bit. <clears throat> so what I did, in order to be able to take advantage of this graphics installer, um, I deleted Ubuntu Studio and I loaded Ubuntu Mate 1504 which I was able to download online. Now that's the, that I believe, well it's the 1504 I think is the, is the long-term support, um, but I'm not 100% sure. But it is readily available in various flavors. And this installer actually works with Fedora, um, the, both 32 and 64 bit of Ubuntu 1504. So, and there is the source code available if you want to try to compile. But uh, I wanted something that I could just download and use. And so, if you download this file, it's a Debian file. So as long as you have GDEB installed, you'll have no difficulty at all running that. Now if I take a look at the uh, control center, once you install it, it shows up on your control center Intel graphics installer for Linux and if I click on that you will see that uh, all you have to do is click begin and it updates your graphics um, finishes up and then advises you to reboot once you reboot you are then able to run games like Hearthstone Starcraft on the Battle.net I have all my Steam games installed uh, and also War Thunder without any problems at all. So if you're running an Intel chip CPU that has onboard graphics and you're using the onboard graphics, uh, this doesn't apply if you have an Intel chip and you're using uh, a standalone GPU like a, an, you know, an, an NVIDIA card. Um, that that wouldn't apply this is only a driver if you're using the CPU from Intel and you're also utilizing the onboard graphics on the chip so once you do that you'll find that your system runs a lot smoother graphics display much better everything looks terrific so that was uh, the purpose number one for this video. Now purpose number two is just to take a look at the Ubuntu Mate. What I did is I, I loaded up all of my usual things in the top right here. You can see caffeine. Uh, I do have Redshift installed. Peace sensor. So everything installed without a problem. Uh, I installed Plank because I like the, the dock. Um, I like Plank better than Docky and better than Cairo Doc. And so I have all the programs that I need loaded there. Uh, I have the Numix theme installed and Fienza icons. And those are all readily available. Now, one of the things I did. I, uh, when I had Ubuntu Studio up and running, I started messing with the uh, vinyl conversion. And I actually uh, recorded one side of a vinyl album. And I'll tell you that it's from r right around 1980 or so. And I've got the entire side one of this album recorded in one long audio file and just for fun I'm gonna play you now you can see if you look into the uh, audacity uh, window here you can see a little spikes that show up those are pops and clicks 
um, you know, crud in the vinyl grooves. And uh, now I did a little bit of cleanup. If you go into effects, you can see it has a lot of uh, utilities. I use noise removal and uh, normalization, uh, normalize. So, but you can use click removal. You have to be careful if you're too aggressive. It, it not only takes the clicks away, but it takes some of the music frequencies out and um, changes the music, uh, not in a good way. So uh, you have to be a little careful with it. But it has a, an undo, so you can undo. Uh, if, you, if you do something, if you process something, it'll give you the option to undo it. So you can play around and still not cause any permanent damage to your audio file and the worst case if you did mess it up then you just have to record it over again from your vinyl but uh, in this case what I'm gonna do I'm going to play a few seconds of the song and you guys let me know what you think this song is uh, so it's not a it was not a mainstream song but if you if you're familiar with this particular artist I will say it I believe it's well it's maybe his first or second album uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit of it and let me know if you can identify the song now I'm gonna do a, um, a video uh, just on the audacity process for cleaning up vinyl I'll do that um, within a few days but um, let me know if you know what song this is okay here we go You can hear the uh, clicks that are still there I wasn't too aggressive on the noise removal so you can still hear some clicks and you can still see some spikes now what you can do you can zoom in and just spot fix all the little spikes which usually are visible in the frequency so uh, but as I said I'll do another video on that um, so guys I hope you enjoyed the video um, this is Ubuntu Mate 1504 with the Intel graphics drivers installed from the 01.org website. Uh, really, really nice. Highly recommended that you download those drivers if you're running onboard graphics from Intel. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.